Okay, number eight. Um, you set rules um, for a world. So this especially applies in fantasy and sci-fi and horror um, more than probably drama or you know comedy or rom-com um, or noir. But if you're gonna if you're gonna build a world, make sure you don't break its own rules. Um, so uh, you want to keep fears and flaws in, in mind as well. So if your character was um, scared of snakes, and then suddenly they go into a snake pit and they immediately conquered that fear, well, you just sapped your own tension um, that you had set, you had been building brilliantly, um, because uh, they got to it and it turns out they aren't as scared as you thought, right? That would be really boring Indiana Jones. So make sure that if you're going to establish rules, um, this is especially in, in, play, in scripts where you have to build a world, you don't just suddenly solve things magically. So if, um, you know, so if, uh, you know, let's just say off the top of my head, there are dragons and uh, they're undefeatable, and then you find out that um, if you spray water on them, they melt. Well, that is super easy and just seems like you created this solution because you couldn't think of anything that could be applied consistently. But if we set up that, um, you know, that what it, what their weakness is earlier, and then it's hard it's hard to um, you know it's a certain uh, chemical, and it's hard to create that chemical. Well, now there's a bit more of a challenge, and it's a consistent rule that we can apply, and we know that if someone encounters a dragon, it's going to be really difficult to defeat them because it's not something that's just going to a, a solution is going to magically appear. So make things harder on your characters whenever possible. Um, and that includes not just creating a solution for them, but building, seeding in a solution um, that's going to be pretty difficult to find. Um, and this also goes for fantasy uh, and uh, sci-fi especially. Um, especially when building, I don't know why, but these fantasy worlds, sometimes sci-fi worlds, people go to an insane level of detail where they set, spend the first 30 or 50 pages creating the world and then they start playing around in it. No, we have to create the world as we go, um, give, introducing us to some new thing about this world uh, a bit at a time. Star Wars actually does a great example of this. You sort of figure out what this world is, they have the scroll, and then you sort of learn about new aliens and new, um, new conflicts and new worlds um, in each uh, uh, scene sequence. Um, but it's not just everything at once, laying out the whole world at once, because that would just be overwhelming and, you know, you'd start to realize how kind of artificial it is. So don't get carried away with detail, especially because a reader just doesn't have time to learn about your world um, in two, you know, devoid of the characters and everything. So don't spend, have characters, I've seen this before and I'm sure I'll see it again, characters just explaining, well, the way the uh, you know Mars coalition works is that everyone has three credits. We don't care. Um, we care about characters. Um, we care about inter-character conflict. So make sure that details are laid out only bit by bit, um, not all at once, and that you don't that you only include the details that are necessary, um, not those that like are interesting in the world, but they're more they can be uh, sort of established when the uh, production designer comes in or the um, 3D modeler comes in or the special effects come in. Leave those to the experts and just give us enough detail to get what matters about this world, what makes it different from our own, and why you set it in this world, why you bothered to create these, uh, this uh, situation, this environment. Remember that we care more about characters um, and the basics of the world than anything else. Everything is about character. So if you find yourself devoting so much time to building this backstory and having characters explain the world or the rules or the, some new technologies or mythology of a fantasy world or sci-fi world, um, if you find that you're doing this too much um, and that we sort of lost who the characters are, uh, you, you failed your script. So if you really want to build a world, make sure that you've built characters whom we care about first.